What's going on YouTube? This is part 3 of my 1964 Impala Lowrider restoration process. So at this point, the car has been back from being sandblasted and also got epoxy primered. There as you can see under the dash, it's still untreated. Reason being is the shop owner told me that they're going to still do a, a good amount of work under the dash so eventually that will get attended to. A quick look at the floorboards and there you see the underside of the roof. Here's a common area where you tend to get a lot of rust damage. I'll go over that in a little bit. And here's a look at the trunk pan. It's going to need some work as well as you can see by the rust damage. So here's a few still pictures of the passenger side of the car. As you can see, work is being done. Of course it is a slow process as it is with any cars of this age. But it's coming along. Another look at the trunk pan. Here's a rear view of the car. There you can kind of see some significant rust damage around the bumper section. Here's an overhead view of the top of the roof. In my opinion it's in pretty good shape other than some common rust spots alongside the roof rails and the quarter panel area. Another look at the rear floorboards. From what I saw they seem to be in excellent condition. As well as the ones in the front. They might not even need any kind of repair work. Here's a few pictures of the driver's side of the car. Basically more of the same. Here's a few pictures of the engine. I'm still weighing all my options on which way I'm going to want to go. Whether it's the common LS swap or just stick with the 283 that's currently on there. Or maybe even throw in a 350. Currently has a two speed power glide. So more than likely I'm going to go with a different setup. Transmission wise at least. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. These are the original fenders. Now I'm definitely planning on keeping these. But they are going to require a lot of work. I'll go more in depth in that in a later video. Also planning on keeping the original doors. From what I saw they were in pretty good shape. Other than some minor metal work. As well as the trunk and the hood. As you can see right there behind the doors. One last clip of me walking around the car. All in all it's in fair condition I believe. Restoration wise. Here's another look at the section there that they left out. Closer look at the passenger side quarter panel. It's hard to tell but there's quite a few dents and metal work to be patched up. Here's a closer look at the rust damage that commonly happens between the quarter panel and the roof section. Another brief look at the trunk pan section that will more likely have to be replaced. A much closer look at the rear bumper area. As you can clearly see, there's a lot of heavy rust damage. So it's definitely going to require a lot of metal work to be done. Hard to tell also, but the driver's side quarter pan also has a few dents and dings. Similar to the passenger side. The driver's side section of the roof and quarter panel where all the chrome moldings are where the common area of the rust is probably even worse on this side than on the other side. And here's some of that roof rail rust damage that I mentioned earlier. 
one last look at the floor pan there you can see the original steering wheel definitely keeping that yeah so all in all I'm pretty satisfied with the progress so far obviously there's definitely a lot of work to be done so just gotta remain patient thanks for watching the video and thanks to everybody out there that's been following along the process thanks to everybody that has subscribed and thanks to everybody that hopefully will subscribe and with that being said on to the next one